Yo, what is going on guys? I hope everybody's doing well today and welcome back to another Bleach Immortal Souls video. In this video, I'll be going over the new season pass we got. It's just going to be kind of just like the first season pass review. I'm going to go over it, see if anything's different. But mainly we're just going to go over whether Ryukin is going to be a good character or not. And whether it is a good idea to buy the, the season pass or not. Because as we all know... The season passes in this game come at a pretty hefty price of $24.99, quite expensive. So let's go ahead and obviously take a look at Ryukin and see if he's really worth your money or not. Uh, here he is, right over here. So to start off, he is a skill specialty character that's an Azure Dragon character. His combo attack right over here deals damage to an enemy and grants a 50% chance of despelling one debuff from each background ally. Now this is honestly not bad at all. That's a pretty good support mastery skill because if it it, it is only a 50% chance. Now that's pretty high, you know, it's basically 50-50. But it is from each background ally, so it'll you you'll see it happening almost every single fight pretty much as long as there is debuffs on your background allies um obviously. Now his rage attack right over here deals damage to an enemy column and increases the crit chance of Ryukin's column by 15% for one round. When weapon is awakened, damage increases greatly as well as crit chance and crit damage. So when he does awaken his weapon, it's he's not gonna he's not going to be only buffing crit chance, but he's going to be buffing crit damage as well, which is pretty nice. Now the rage attack is not bad. It's nothing too crazy. Something like Kampachi's is way better. Kampachi's basically a better crit supporter was his rage attack. But keep in mind, he is an Azure Dragon character, and Kenpachi is a White Tiger character. So if you're specifically looking, you know, for an Azure Dragon character that helps with crit chance support, then you're gonna obviously want to go with him, or you can just run both of them so you get that insanely high crit chance um support. And then his passive skill right here, when Ryukin is alive, the crit chance of ally increases whenever Ryukin unleashes a rage skill. All ally crit chance increases additionally to a maximum of 5 stacks cannot be dispelled. So it, it's uh, it only says 1.25% here, but keep in mind this is his skill at level 0. As you level it up even more, then this one will also go up with it. So looking at the character, he's not a bad character honestly at all. Now he's obviously specifically a PvE support character. Um, I guess you could run him in PvP, I would personally not do that, but I guess you could run him in PvP, you know, if you wanted, but from the looks of it, he looks like he's a um, PvE support character, if you run him and Kenpachi together, that would be a great combo, because you'd be critting a bunch and a bunch of attacks. Now, selling right here, in Squad Boss, uh, the attack and HP of all characters is increased by 2.4%, which is, it's it's alright, it's nothing too crazy. Now, let's go ahead and look at the battle pass right here. So, if you purchase it straight off the bat, you will be getting um, all these rewards right here. You're going to get the cool banner frame. You're going to you're gonna get 6 only shards, which is not bad. You're going to get his weapon, which is really nice. Um, one summon token, I'm pretty sure you'll get more as you progress. 6 awakened essences. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is all the rewards. Okay, never mind. I am so sorry, guys. This is actually all the rewards right here. After you complete the season pass, this is the total of rewards you will be getting for $24.99. So, six Omni Shards. That's honestly little. Should be more. His weapon, one summon token. That's honestly really great. Deal. Like, come on. They could do like 10 at least. Five Omni Shard chests, 150 crystals. 250 Ryukin shards, which is extremely nice actually. Um, some of those, some of those six awakened essences, um, two arena tickets, and 11 lottery tickets. Now, if we compare this to Yoruichi, this is actually less rewards. But do keep in mind that Yoruichi did um, last up a longer time, and it did go up all the way to level 80, while this one only goes up to level 60, I believe. Yep. Um, so yeah, and they are giving us less time because it is less levels. I'm guessing the reason for that is because they want to start dropping these season passes faster because it's taking way too long for characters to come out because of the season pass if they want to put that character into the season pass, obviously. Now, uh, so let's talk about prices, right? This is $25. No game offers, you know, like expensive battle passes, but Osis does, obviously, because um, it's a pay-to-win game, unfortunately. But... Is it really worth your $25? Now, as we went over the Yoruichi Overpass, it looks like it's a bad deal, but keep in mind, for $25, you're 
you're getting way more than what you would normally get for $25. For $25, like, let's go to the shop real quick. And let's look at the daily packs, because they're some of the best deals. You can buy five of these daily packs. If you, like, put five of these together, and you compare it to the rewards you're getting from, you know, from here for 20, for the same price, this is obviously easily way better. And keep in mind, you're getting a five-star character with their weapon. Yeah, Yoroichi, whenever she got her update for, you know, when they increased her stats and stuff, it easily became an easy purchase, because Yoroichi is an absolutely insane good character. However, for Ryukin, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do not see him as a good character or necessarily a character that they would use because Kenpachi does exist. And for that reason, if we compare this to Yoroichi's, this is probably less value because you are getting less rewards, which sucks. And the character himself, he's not as good as Yoroichi. Now, Yoroichi wasn't very good before her update, but at least you would get more rewards from it, right? So it kind of made up for it. But initially, whether you should buy it or not, honestly, would just... As I say in every purchase, depend on to you. Now, would I recommend for you to buy it? I honestly would not. It is true that you are getting a 5-star character, but that character is strictly a support, in my eyes at least. And the rewards, like I said, are good, but they're nothing crazy. Now, if you're spending money anyways on the game, then go ahead and buy it, because this is giving you more than $25 value. But if you're somebody who doesn't spend a lot of money and you're considering it, then it's probably a no for you, because... Like I said, um, I'd rather buy a level up pack or some stuff like that. Unless you just maybe really want initiative or you actually want the character, of course. Um, but yeah, this is my opinion on the second season pass. Let me know what you guys think in the se Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, please. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss any future uploads. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.